Hello, I'm Matt and welcome to the Black Cat Bushcraft Channel. Today I'm out in my camp and I came across a sample of a wild edible plant, so I thought I'd share it with you. This one's called Partridge Berry. Stick with me and we'll zoom in. All right, this is a really good example of a partridge berry plant. Right now it's mid-March and so late winter time, fixing to turn spring. There's not a lot of berries left out here. Uh, the birds love to consume these berries and I'm sure wildlife does as well. Um, and as you can see with that bright red berry, they stick out so I'm sure it's easy for them to spot. Lucky to find this one today. Um, the partridge berry plant is a very low trailing woody vine uh, and it grows, it is evergreen so the leaves are stay green throughout the year and it grows pairs of leaves so you can see there's two leaves here. I'll show you a close up of that in just a minute. Um, but this thing can run along the ground and never will climb, it always just stays down on the ground real low. Sometimes you might not spot it and if you're scratching around in the leaf litter you'll all of a sudden you'll start to see it everywhere so sometimes it does get covered up by dry leaves. The berry here um, actually forms out of the fusion of two flowers. Normally in the late spring, uh, early summer, this plant will grow two little white flowers on it. And once uh, fertilized, those flowers will, you know, fuse and become one berry. And if you look at this berry really close, maybe I can point this out to you. Hopefully it'll show up on camera. There's an indention, actually two indentions, one being right here and another one being right here. And that's just scars on the berry from where those two flowers have fused to create that. Um, so that's a great identifying feature. Uh, when you look at the berry, you should always be able to find those two little indentions there. And there is another plant that looks very similar to this, um, which is also edible. Uh, but anyway, that's, an, that's a feature that will be unique to the partridge berry. I'll zoom in on the leaves so you can see those colors. Alright, this is a good zoom in here of the leaves from the partridge berry plant. I just pulled up this little piece of vine. You can see the leaves have somewhat of a heart shape to them, slightly oval. Uh, and you can see how they grow in pairs of two. You can kind of see the vein structure of the leaf there. Um, they're normally a dark green, uh, evergreen leaf. And you can see how they alternate in pairs of two. Right, and this is what the stem looks like. It is a round stem. You see the bottom of the leaf there. Just to give you a good idea of the coloration and then the shape and structure of the leaves. Partridge berry is also considered to be a medicinal plant. Traditionally it was used by women to help ease the pain of menstrual cramps. It was also considered to be beneficial for women who were in labor to help relieve pain and also help facilitate childbirth. It is rich in vitamin C and antioxidants, and it is considered to be a diuretic and slightly astringent. Although if you taste the plant, it does not have that the typical astringent, astringent flavor that a lot of uh, wild edibles or medicinal plants might have. It has a very mild flavor, kind of like a cucumber, sort of. It doesn't have a strong flavor, uh, but it is very palatable and very pleasant to eat. Uh, I really like the berries. The leaves are also very mild. They don't have that typical grassy flavor that a lot of times uh, wild edible plant leaves do, um, but it has a, a just a very mild flavor. Normally the leaves are considered to be uh, best brewed into tea um, to take it that way as opposed to just eating the green leaf material. Um, I have never made tea out of partridge berry leaves. I have eaten the leaves and I have eaten many of the berries. All right, well, I appreciate you guys taking the time to tune in for this quick look at the partridge berry plant. Hope the next time you're out in the woods, you can take a look around. Maybe you can find this plant. It's very common in Eastern North America. I think it's very widely dispersed. So most likely you'll probably be able to find it in your area, um, but it's pretty easy to spot and it's a good one to know. And this time of year, it's very rare to find these things, so if you find them, enjoy them. Thanks for tuning in. I hope to talk to you with another video again as soon as possible. Until that time, take care and God bless.